How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Farming Simulator 19 Survival Series. So, um, I've made some minor changes um, around the farm here. So, what I did is I took the bits of grass out from the shed, which was just annoying. I mean, it wasn't a problem. But then back here we had a strip of grass as well. But I think it's just more workable if we get rid of it. So that's exactly what we did. And then just a small thing is I made a little path in here so that we can go from here straight out there and not go through the grass. So um, yeah, that's all we've actually done. Oh, silage is building up a little bit. Not much. I don't think we can even use that on a field yet, but it's getting there. Then this thing, I think I need to move. So how do we do that? customize um where would we put this can we rotate it yeah should we just put it like here i mean i would think so i don't think it needs to be inside the box there so i don't know let's put it like here and um, confirm um, sure, I don't know. Ooh, contact milk contractor. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, we can get $5,000 for that. $800 fee. No. Um, no. We're, we are going to buy our own milk trailer and we are going to deliver it ourselves. I just don't know where. So, milk. Where can we sell milk? Oh, well, there we go. Vehicle Shop buys it. And Fair Oak Stores buys it. And Edge Grain Vault buys it. Nice. Okay. So, y yes. Um, one thing I did want to touch on real quick is in the previous episode, I was babbling a little bit. And I was talking about replacing the small tractor. And someone mentioned something about a 3000 series. That was a Massey Ferguson 3000 series, and the person that mentioned it was Nathan Oliver. So Nathan, thank you very much for mentioning that. I did actually go have a look at it, and it is a really nice tractor. It is a little bit bigger than what we've got here at the moment. Um, so I decided not to go for that, because I also had a look at a new wagon that we can use, a mixing wagon. And the new one that we are going to use is going to fit perfectly on that. So I do appreciate that suggestion. Um, we will probably use that, so I did download the mod, uh, so I'll probably use that in a future series, so that is, um, yeah, all good, we're definitely going to use that at some stage, and um, for now, we are going to grab, well, actually, we don't need, mm, yeah, we do, we do, okay, so I'm trying to think here, I did some planning and everything off screen, and, um, we are going to be replacing some things and it's we're going to lose a bit of money doing it but it's fine it's for the best and i'm going to take that off unfortunately our little 398 here is going to get replaced and we've barely had it and i'm quite sad because i do like it a lot um so it's not going to get replaced with that 3000 series, but it also it is going to get replaced with a Massey Ferguson. So yeah, we're going to do that real quick. We're going to take this up to the shop and we're going to be replacing both of these. And the reason I'm replacing the tractor is not because I'm getting anything bigger. In, in fact, I'm getting something that's basically the exact same size. In fact, I'm getting what I originally wanted to get, which is the 390T. So that is the one that I wanted, but it didn't connect well on this uh, mixing wagon. So then I had a look at a bigger mixing wagon, I think an 18,000 liter one, where this one is about 12,000. And I thought, yeah, that'll be perfect. And this tractor has enough power to run it and all of that's fine. But then when I connected that up, the connection with the PTO shaft and everything was sort of backwards. And that's the problem we had with this trailer with the 390T. So, the only real solution there is to replace both of these. So, to get the 390T with the new wagon. And I'm quite sad because I grew to like this 398 a lot. I, I really do like this little tractor. It's a great little thing. 
But um, the 390T is is really nice as well. So we're going to get that with the communal wheels. It's going to be a sort of farmyard tractor. It's not going to be doing any field work or anything like that. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, all of this has been, well, pretty well used now. Um, so we're not going to get a refund or anything on it. We're just basically going to sell it and get the new ones. We're going to have to take the knock there. Another thing is... It is two days later compared to... So if you saw the money went up quite a bit. Um, that is because it is two days later than what it was in the previous episode. That is because yesterday was raining all day. So no work got done. Um, I need to take care of the animals because the cleanliness on all of them is zero. Uh, we need to get them some food. I think the cows need quite a bit of grass. So yeah, quite a bit of work to be done. And um, yeah, just just a lot to do we also need to do bale collection at some stage i keep on forgetting about that uh, hopefully now we'll have our silage sorted out or our mixed rations sorted out and some of you did make some suggestions about this trailer that we can still use it and how we can still use it and what process we can go through to use it and i know and it's just a hassle and i i do appreciate the suggestions but it's it's just not practical because our food and everything for the animals the uh, bales and the silage and everything is a long way from where the animals are actually based it doesn't make sense to sort of throw a bale in drive all the way to the animals empty out half of it and then drive all the way back again and um there isn't really space to to keep the bales closer to the animals either so it's fine we're just gonna go with a slightly bigger one it's not a big deal um again i do appreciate the suggestions but i think it's just gonna work a little bit better if we do it this way so we are gonna go with the the nokian communal wheels um, we'll probably get this second hand it is an old tractor we're not gonna get gps because we don't need it we are gonna get the front loader so that's thirty eight thousand seven hundred dollars and then we are gonna grab the animals so this is the one that we had. This is the one we're, that we're going to get. I did look at some other options, but this is going to work perfectly fine. And 85 horsepower. We've got 95 horsepower, so that's fine. This one was actually 90, so closer to it. And um, yeah, I wanted to see what did we... Oh, we bought the bigger wagon that required 100. Um, ooh, we need to get a milk trailer as well. $25,000. Hmm, we'll get that soon. Um, right, this we're going to buy secondhand as well. That'll save us $10,600. And there we go. Let's buy that. Beautiful. Uh, we'll get it all serviced here, otherwise I'm going to forget. And there we go. That's our new little 390T. Actually, we can get that service first. It definitely needs a service and a wash. And, I mean, it's very, very similar to what we had. I think it sounds a little bit different, uh, which makes sense. But yeah very very similar obviously just different wheels on it now and it does seem quite dark in here with the shadows and all i am gonna run the time on 15 multiplier normally i just run it on about five see so that connects up there where with the other one it connected down there and yeah i mean it's i don't know i don't know what the deal is with that but yeah, I used to run the, or normally I run the time on times five, but it's just a little bit slow. We tend to end episodes halfway through the day. So I'm going to try 15 and see how that goes. Okay. Beautiful. That is all serviced. We're going to take this back to the farm and we are going to test it out. I'm going to see if it all works. All right. So back at the farm and, um, yeah, so what I wanted to just touch on real quick with regards to the new mixer here is I do understand the the argument that some of you have made with the smaller one of just driving up, dumping half of it. And I spoke about this earlier and I do get it. It's fine. But for recording purposes, I just try and make things as efficient as possible because I want to try and get as much into one episode as what I can and if I'm driving up and down filling and emptying mixes and things that just slows down the process 
a lot unnecessarily. So that's all it's about. I know that I can work with what I had, but um, yeah. Right. Um, how am I going to do this? Let's turn that off. Can I fill this without having it connected? If not, then it might have been a mistake to sell the the other Massey. We might need to buy it back. I don't know. Um, right, let's see. So, in theory, if I work this out correctly, we should be able to put in one hay bale and we still need to need to get a, a weight for this little tractor all right so can we put that in there yes we can beautiful okay so we're gonna do that then we need to find the veltra where did i put the veltra is it over there no i think it's parked because we cannot reach the other bales. There we go. So we're going to grab that. I mean, it would be ideal to have like a proper front loader. And we might actually look into that. Because our money is building up slowly. Uh, we still need to buy the house. It's a quarter of a million dollar house that we need to put in. So, um, or build. And um, yeah, so that's going to take out a big chunk of our money. I mean, we do have crops in the ground and everything, so that's okay. Um, there's money coming in, or going to come in. So, I mean, we're in a decent situation. And we'll just grab... Top half. There we go. That's all we needed that for. So, obviously, if we had a a bit of a better front loader, we could just do it with that. But we don't, so it's fine. We'll use the Valtra for now. Get this disconnected. And that should last us quite some time. I mean, that's eight bales. Okay. Going to leave that there. We can move that later on grab this so now we should be able to take one of those hay bales and then just top it off with silage and we should have a full tank that is i wouldn't say perfectly mixed but it'll be oops flipped the bale there it'll be in the green on everything so it should be absolutely fine all right so do that. Drop this down. In fact, we don't really need a weight for this because we only carry one bale at a time. And then we'll have to take the weight off every time we want to connect the, the trailer because we need the PTO shop. Right. So we're going to turn that on. And our ratio is a bit out of whack at the moment, but that's okay. Let's grab some silage. And should be good to go. I think probably about two buckets should do it. There we go. All right, that's one get one more i don't know if it'll take a full bucket it might actually because i think this is a 4000 liter bucket all right let's see how much it takes yeah i think it's gonna take all of it good okay so that's all of it and that should be 100% full. Let's have a quick look. That is 100% full. 5.3 tons. 
and it's a good mix so beautiful right this is having a bit of a hard time pulling it but it's okay I mean the thing only has a top speed of well I, I suppose we can turn it off there we go we don't need it running until we get there and yeah I think that's gonna make a big difference it's just so much easier to to do it that way and just do one trip this way so obviously we'll still have to sort of run up and down with bales and things but as long as with the the mix ratio it's or the the mix ration we can do that quite easily then I'm happy all right turn that back on beautiful let me get a little bit closer and I think it'll take all of this because we haven't given them food in like two days So that's all of that done. Let's have a look. Uh, right, total mix ration is pretty good. 26,000 liters, 20,000 liters grass is 12,000. So not great, but not terrible. Uh, cleanliness is zero. So we need to take care of that real quick. And I think we'll have to do that for all of the animals because if these guys are on zero, then everyone's going to be on zero. But I think... I think the cows will be okay, or th all of the animals actually, should be okay at least until the next episode, then we'll get some grass and things sorted out for them. I think they'll be fine for a little while. And what we need to do is we need to go collect all of the hay bales, because that's still all lying in the field and that's not ideal. Um, water, we can do that. Oh, I forgot to give water to the cows. Oh, yeah, they made a, a big mess over here. There we go. Uh, they've still got a bale there, so that grass is unfortunately lost uh, when we use the broom. Right, let's give the cows a bit of water. For a moment, I thought this was a cow standing outside. There we go. They do take quite a lot of water, actually. There we go. All right. They should be good, and then we'll do the same with the chickens, and then we'll grab the Veltra, we'll grab the collection trailer, and we're doing okay for eggs, not too bad at all. Clean this up, and we'll be good to go. Yeah, whoop. Not the ideal angle to operate a broom in, but here we go job done okay so we are going to grab the veltro we can actually take that back and in fact i'm gonna just pull it around the the back at the service area and we can get this all washed up and cleaned up properly a little bit later on i'll probably do that off screen but um yeah i do like the 390t uh, i did like the 398 as well i liked it a lot actually and, um, yeah, I think I probably would have, even though this is the original one that I wanted to buy when I was looking at a, a small tractor, um, I think I would actually prefer to keep the other one if I could have. But, I mean, the 390 is great. It's a, it's a lovely little thing. And, um, yeah, I think it's going to serve us well. Basically got one job, and that's to feed animals, so that's fine. Uh, we'll see how it connects up with things like the little grain trailers and things. Um, is there anything still in here? There is indeed. So this is um, silage, I think this was. We'll have to clean that out at some stage. Not going to worry about it. Now, at least. So let's grab the Veltra. So we are going to grab the bale collector. And we're going to jump into a time lapse. And we're going to get, hopefully, all of those bales connected and stacked back here. Um, I'll probably have to move the three bales still sitting there. And, um, yeah, move the full stacks in the back and put the sort of half stacks and singles and things in the front. So they're easier to get at. 
But we do have a lot of bales to collect, so yeah, I think this is going to be a bit of a time-consuming job. But that's okay, it's a job that needs to get done. Um, while we wait for the crops to grow, we'll probably also get that field, the grass field plowed back in. And probably the other grass field plowed as well. Um, the one that we are heading to now, we need to plow back in because even though this is the first cut, I completely forgot to lime it before I um, seeded it. So, yeah, that was a bit of a problem. And a problem that I want to fix so that we can get the, the maximum yield out of this grassland. Even though I think this grassland is probably more than enough for the farm. I don't even think we actually need the other one. But we'll, we'll do the other one. We'll probably use this one for baling and the other one for silage. So, because the other one is bigger, we can get quite a bit of silage out of that. But, um, yeah, we're going to jump into that time lapse. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So that is all of the hay bales collected and put away and I cleaned up the tractor and the mixer here so we'll probably just leave them somewhere here I guess no real point taking them over to the animals if they're empty because we're just gonna have to bring it all back here and to fill it up again so oh, I'm having some major frame issues and I think it's got something to do with the bales here because it just started and I don't know what the deal is I'll have to look into that anyway uh, we are gonna leave this sort of right here I think that should be fine uh, I do know that we have a straw bale in there uh, we'll have to get that taken out later and I've also got a bale there that's just a bit of a little bit um, yeah oddly stacked so there we go we've got quite a bit of uh, bales there that'll probably keep us going for quite some time uh, we've got a few more here, and we'll probably just move the front loader for the Veltra away from there. And we'll just probably um, pick off those bales with the smaller tractor. So in the next episode, uh, we're probably going to take care of the animals and make sure that they are all stocked up and ready to go. And then I think I want to get into some plowing work, uh, plowing the grass fields and things. So... Yeah, that means the big boy, the big John Deere is going to come out to play, uh, which is always fun. Amazing piece of equipment that is. So yeah, unfortunately we don't see it working that often, but when we do, it's pretty fun. So yeah, there we go. We shall leave it there for today. Um, our crops are pretty much looked after. They are fertilized, they are weeded and everything, so they are ready to go. We basically just need to sit back and wait for them to do their thing. But yeah, so that is going to be it for today, guys. Oh, there we go. Um, it, it just went up a growth stage, so that is it's pretty good. Our soybeans here are looking amazing. But yeah, we're going to leave it there. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.